Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another Shop My Eyeshadow Stash with my girl Kelly over at Keep Beauty Real. For the month of July, we decided to create a palette based on a summer fragrance and I cannot wait to share mine with you. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with those who feel the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's. Let's get started. So how are you? I am great. It is about eight in the morning and I am going to film this video, edit it and get it up all in the same day as long as the Wi-Fi is uh, supportive. <laughs> and I'm very excited because today I am going to the Sphere in Las Vegas, but I want to take it up and it's quiet. Marky slept with Mimi up in, in her room. August is in the room sleep. So I moved my setup to the, the main room in here, which is pretty nice. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Let me know how you're doing in the comment section or the chat, whichever you prefer, and let's get this going. And before we get into it, let me just tell you a little bit about this collab in case this is your first time watching. My friend Kelly over at Keep Beauty Real and I created this series so that we would use our indie eyeshadow singles, which tend to go by the wayside. I think we both use palettes more than our singles and we found out that we were just mainly swatching them and not using them. So we decided to create palettes based on the theme and you all have contributed to these themes each month which has been awesome because we've been doing this for over two years and we've been able to keep keep it fresh this is an open collab so if you're a content creator feel free to join the only rule is that we pick 10 shadows and they have to go with the theme and that's it and if you do it on instagram tag us so we can put it in your stories if you do it on youtube let me know i'll put it in the description box i love seeing people build their own palettes because i just it's, it's just such a work of art so let's get into the fragrance that i chose i chose a summer fragrance and i think kelly did too the fragrance i chose is called sangria and it's by lorenzo pazaglia and I fell in love with this fragrance and I ended up purchasing a dupe of it from the Dua fragrance house, but it, the Dua one, I don't like as much actually. And Dua does really great with their fragrance dupes, but this one, I still want the, the full size bottle. I do have the sample here from Lucky Scent. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about it. First of all, Sangria is probably my favorite drink, Red Sangria. And so I just knew I was going to just fall in love with this fragrance. Oh my gosh, I can smell it from here. This is an amber floral fragrance and it was released this year in 2024. I'm gonna give you the notes and pop them up here from Fragrantica because there are tons of them. And I'm just gonna read them all because it's the perfect notes for sangria. Top notes of blood orange, cinnamon, ginger, bergamot, mandarin orange, pink pepper, lemon, cloves, and green notes, that's in the top. In the mid, we have red wine, grapes, black currant, raspberry, peach, apple, cardamom and Turkish rose and in the base we have brown sugar vanilla vanilla bean patchouli musk tonka bean birch sandalwood cedarwood benzoin and amber and when I smell this it just smells exactly what you think sangria would smell like it's juicy it's fruity I love it I love it I don't I don't know what else to say the dupe is really like 90 90 percent close but there's a note in the dupe that I it just it turns it a little uh mossy for me and you still have that note in here but it's definitely not as pronounced in sangria and oh man i love this so much you just smell all the fruits you smell like the wine there's like some amber in there hmm. i just love it it's like a, a juicy fruity red sangria so let's get into my palette and i'll put the information for that fragrance and where i got the sample from from lucky scent in the description box so i have my don't even do it y'all but this is so handy for uh, these byops especially when i'm using the standard eyeshadow shape shadows so i love that i still have my little makeup by mario and kkw beauty palette and i forgot to bring my um telescopic magnet so i'm just going to show you the palette and just point to each one i'm not going to show them up close like i usually do i mean i'm going to show them up close but not each one individually here is my palette based on sangria and based on red sangria 
and I did the top shades. The top shades remind me more of like the wine colors and the red fruits. And then the bottom represents some of the other fruits that I like to put in my sangria, like uh, blueberries and uh, oranges. And why did I pick gold? Oh, I like to put pineapple rum in my sangria too. So this is my palette and I hope you like it. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch it and I'll tell you about each shade and what brand it's from. This first shade is from Cleona Cosmetics and it is the shade Merlot. I'm using this new camera and I just love the focus of this camera. Like it's so quick. You don't even have to wait for it to focus, which is amazing. I thought this would be just a beautiful uh, shade to represent the red wine in Sangria. Next we have Starfire from Davina, which looks a lot more red uh, in person. And this is, uh, is this a dual chrome? It is, but it doesn't have a huge shift. It's kind of like, um, when I'm looking at it, it's a uh, red and it, it goes a little light, a little orangey. Next is the shade Brilliant Realm, which is from Sydney Grace. And that's just like a nice cool tone, smoky shade. Next is the shade Boss, and this is from Luxie Beauty. Last on the top row, we have the shade Unpredictable, also from Cindy Grace. So that's the top row. On the bottom row, we have Copper Fuel from Luxie Beauty. Celesta is from Davina. Green Goblin is from Terra Moons. Magnetic is a shimmer from Sydney Grace. And lastly, we have Caddy Pillar, which is from Luxie Beauty. And here is my Sangria palette. And I try to come up with something where you have that sangria, you have that wine as the base, you know, but then you have other things that you add to it to make it beautiful and colorful. So that is my palette. Let me know your thoughts. Some of these shadows in here are so old, especially like some of these Luxie Beauty ones. So it's nice to see that they are long lasting as far as, you know, how they are swatching. And we'll see what look we come up with. I am just going to do one look today and uh, let's see what we come up with. So on my face right now, I just have one concealer and bronzer and I'm gonna give myself a little bit of blush really fast. I have my NYX Buttermelt Blush in, what is this one called? Sooner the Butter. I thought this would be a nice like summery blush to go with whatever look I am going to do. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. On my lips, I'm wearing Finesse from Proper Beauty. I love that shade a lot because it goes with everything and I love nudes. By the way, I did order two more of these blushes. Couldn't help myself. I really like these a lot. These are probably the blushes of the year for me. On my eyelids, I do have on the About Face eyeshadow primer. And my bronzer is the Fenty bronzer, Fenty, uh, the original Sunstalker powder bronzer. All right, I'm gonna zoom in here and scrunch on down and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna start with Unpredictable from Sydney Grace, which is this one here as a transition shade and I'm using a fluffy brush, uh, BK Beauty A503. I'm gonna be putting this in the inner corner as well or the inner part of the lid as well as the outer. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a smaller brush so we can do the inner part of the lid. And next I'm gonna go into Boss from Luxie Beauty which is gonna be very, very vivid. I'm gonna focus that in the crease and the outer corner. Give us some brightness here. It is so quiet, y'all, oh my gosh. Like, the boys are so loud, like, when they're all together. This is so peaceful. This is what we have so far. You can see just a little more depth with the boss shade. 
I'm going to skip to the lower lash line and I'm going to use, uh, I think it's Brilliant Round. Let me look. Yeah, this one right here. So right outside of my, um, I don't understand why this camera overheats like this. Like I haven't even been filming that long, 15 minutes, it's ridiculous. I'm getting a notification. But um, right outside the room is a pool from the Flamingo and they have a day party that goes from 12 to five. The music is great. The go pool is 21 and over. And then the other pool, the family pool is in the back, which is still very nice. But me and my sister were gonna try to get to the go pool, but it's not gonna happen this trip and that's okay. That is okay. All right, there's our under eye. So now I wanna get into a shimmer and I'm really feeling something peachy, like either Caddy Pillar or Copper Fuel. I think maybe I want to do both. So let's just put a little bit here. This is Copper Fuel. And I do want to try to do something creative with the blue and the green. We'll see though. That's Copper Fuel. And then I'm going to take Caddy Pillar here and top it. Let's see if that does anything. Um, it does give it a little pop. I'm gonna be going out of order in this look because I'm trying to put a little something together. And the more and more I do my eyeshadow, I love like the spotlight and more haphazard shimmer placement than it being so like controlled. All right, I changed the setting in the camera. So hopefully um, we, can, we can keep going. All right, so this is what we have so far. And I do like this. I'm gonna go to the inner corner wing linked. And I'm gonna use the shade right here, Celesta, uh, which is really pretty. All right, and then what I think I wanna do, let's see how this will work. Magnetic from Sydney Grace. If I could just, let's see, put a little bit here. Yeah, I like that. So I'm not gonna use a green. I don't wanna do too much. But I think that just gives it a nice little uh, interesting touch. Might be able to put the green in the back, let's see. You can't really tell the difference between the two. But I think that's really pretty. I'm gonna pop on some mascara. This is my L'Oreal Panoramic Mascara in black brown and that is the finished look so let me know what you think about it i think it represents sangria and the perfume sangria it could get a little more golden maybe but i like how this turned out because i haven't been doing super colorful makeup so this is a way for me to make it my own you know like realistically and that's really what I, what I want to do with my colorful shadows. I don't want to stop wearing them and I don't want to stop using my indie singles, but I want to use them in a way that represents how my eyeshadow style has evolved. And I, I think that's really important. And I think we can all, you know, figure out different ways to be creative with things, even though our personal aesthetic changes. So that is the look. Let me know what you think. I think this looks great and it's crazy. I'm not going anywhere till later. So I don't know, I'll probably take this off and do something else. I don't know, but I really like this. This is really beautiful. So let me know your thoughts. And I do want to tell you what we're doing next month for August. So next month we are going to be making an eyeshadow palette or building a palette based on eyeshadows that we've forgotten about. Like ones that we used to love, but we've just kind of forgotten about them. We want to bring those back out and show them some love. So if you wanna join, that is gonna be the, the palette for next month. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this look. Please make sure that you check out Kelly's video or any other content creators that I put in the description box and I'm gonna get on out of here. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you, it always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself, talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one, bye.